Hi friends, welcome back to Vance Vlogs. Today we are going to Banff, Alberta, a much awaited trip. We are going to camp for two days and we are going to stay in the hotel for two days. And this is our first time camping in a tent, so it's exciting at the same time, scary for me. But I hope it all goes well. So yeah, I think it's going to be exciting. We went to airport in our car and we decided to park it at the airport for four to five days until we return. We reached the airport on time. They asked us to check in our cabin luggages too. So except for our backpacks, we checked in all our luggages and we started walking towards the gate. Since we might need our jackets in BAMP, we took our spring jackets. Couple of them I checked in along with the cabin luggage and couple of them I had in hand because I didn't have enough space in my cabin luggage. Air Transit said that the flight was delayed by 30 minutes and finally after around one hour, we started boarding the flight. After we boarded the flight, they announced that the Montreal airport was closed. We were about to go to Montreal and from there we had another flight to Calgary. There were thunderstorms and uh, tornado warnings in Montreal, that's the reason it was closed. We waited for almost 4 hours for Montreal airport to reopen and for a flight from Toronto to start. After almost 4 hours of wait, the flight started and we reached Montreal. And our second flight was also delayed by almost 4 hours from Montreal to Calgary. They said the delay is due to loading luggages in the airplane. In total, our flights were delayed for around 8 hours and we reached Calgary at around 2 am in the morning. While we were waiting for our luggages, they informed that luggages didn't reach Calgary from Montreal. It was just a nightmare for us. We were all so pissed off. We booked a rental car at Calgary Airport and since we reached 8 hours late, it was also closed. We had a horrible journey from Toronto to Calgary. We didn't get our luggages, we didn't get our rental car, we had to take Uber to reach our hotel, which was 30 minutes away. We were all so tired, we just had few hours to sleep because we already booked our gondola rides at BAMP, so we had no other choice than leaving tomorrow morning around 7 am. We all just slept for few hours and the next day we woke up and had our breakfast at the hotel. Since all our luggages were delayed, we did not have any new clothes to wear. No time to go shopping for clothes because uh, we already booked our gondola rides and it's a two hour drive from our hotel. We just woke up, had our breakfast and washed our face and we started to go towards BAMF for the gondola ride. BAMF was almost two hours away from our hotel. Though we were very disappointed and very unhappy with our journey the previous day, we were very excited to go to BAMF. We fell in love with Calgary, it was so calm without much traffic and so much of natural beauty around. You can see the mountains in distance. If you are someone who loves to go on long drives, this is a beautiful and a must visit place. The highway is surrounded by lots and lots of natural beauty. You can't take your sight out of it. There were lots and lots of pine trees all around the mountains and it was really beautiful and symmetrical. It was such a pleasure for us to view all this. Before entering Banff National Park, we had to get our pass. We took pass for three days since we were going to tour around for three days to different lakes and places. For the first day after reaching Calgary, we had our hotel book. But for the second and third day, we didn't get any hotels. So we booked campsites. We had our tents, blankets, everything in the luggage and we didn't get even one so we were left with nothing other than the clothes that we were wearing. We didn't want to think about any of these negatives, we just wanted to go to the gondola ride first and enjoy it. Finally we reached Banff Gondola. The parking was completely full. They asked us to keep going around until we find one so it took us like 20 to 30 minutes for us to find a spot.
setting up tent wasn't that difficult it was easy and kids helped us uh, blow up all the aid mattress along with tent and aid mattress we also got few blankets the blankets we got were not very thick we didn't even have luggage to store anything so we thought we will just go with something temporary we had a horrible night it was so cold and we just couldn't sleep the blankets weren't sufficient kids were sleeping with their jackets still they couldn't sleep because it was super cold we woke up early since uh, we couldn't sleep anyways we took shower we got ready um, we just put on the clothes that we got from Costco and we started towards Lake Louis.